I'm Stephanie Austin, and when I was 35 years old, I suffered a sudden cardiac arrest while in my sleep. It changed my life forever. Before the cardiac arrest, I led a very go, 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 go life, not unlike a lot of women with small children. I was at the most fit I had been my entire life. I went from that to not being able to walk a block. It was a hot summer night and uh, the Phillies were playing. They were good at the time. It was 2008. After the game, we drove back to our house. And the next morning, very early, I noticed that Stephanie was breathing oddly. When I looked over, she was blue and non-responsive. My husband did all the right things. He called 911 and then he started CPR. And how lucky I am that he knows CPR because that is what sustained me until the medics arrived. I have medical training. I've learned CPR since I was a teenager. You learn to follow the protocols that you've been taught. And for a while, you can focus on the job at hand. But once EMS arrives, that, that sort of goes away and uh, you just become a normal person again. And you get the flood of emotions of uncertainty, of panic, of, of just the unknown. The people that lived across the street from us at the time of the event told me that when I was being placed in the ambulance and my husband was giving them the children to watch so he could come to the hospital with me, he looked over at the medics and yelled, pulse, and they yelled back, no pulse. So I still didn't have a pulse at this point. And they said they will never forget the, the color of gray that my husband was at that point. After Stephanie's acute event, she made a really remarkable recovery. But that was just the beginning of the story. She had voids in her memory that she still carries to this day. Not only do I not remember the event, I don't remember that entire year, nor do I remember the year before or the year after the event. So everything that I recall is really a recount from somebody else's memory. But it's, it's a really good story. I am so, so absurdly fortunate. When you look at the stat of 10% surviving an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, that's astounding. To be this functional, is miraculous. But the first step in all of that was the CPR. CPR was discovered through research funded by the American Heart Association. The defibrillator in my chest that keeps me alive, same story. The American Heart Association saved my life. They give me a platform to use my voice to hopefully help others in my community. They allow me to do something that is so meaningful and makes me feel like I'm giving so much and that I'm accomplishing so much. And my God, that's like the greatest gift I could have asked for. The American Heart Association has been tremendously supportive for our family. Our hope is to give back and share that blanket of comfort with others who are going through the same situation. To the American Heart Association, I would say thank you. Thank you for providing me with a network of people like me, and they should know that I'm not going anywhere. I plan to be here to help them with their mission as long as I can.